everyone happy saturday and we have another very quiet pig today well i say quiet in terms of like in the herd she is loud when it comes to being picked up on nail trims or anything like that she's quite a stroppy pig aren't you look at that face she says what me no and this is valerie why don't you come on over valerie <laughs> She's like, seriously, save me. Save me from this human. So Valerie is one of my rescues. And she came from a really awful overbreeding situation that got massively out of hand. And it was a really dire situation for the girls that were in, you know, not good. Not good. And Valerie was one of those girls. Now, when she had her babies, they were... The only way I can describe it is... They looked like they were very premature. Now... A lot of the pigs that came from that situation ended up having miscarriages or delivering um, deformed pups or pups that didn't make it. And not all of them, but there were a good chunk that were not right. And Valerie gave birth to a boy and a girl. And they were a silver agouti colour. And when they, they, I mean, they were tiny, they were like this. But their fur wasn't like this. It was, it's so hard to explain. It was like f feathers, like a feather duster, you know, not like not like a bird's feathers. Um, unless, oh no, mind you, birds, birds, when they're first born, you know, they get that like really that fluff. It was like that. And the little boy that was born, he only lived a couple of days. The little girl we still have in the herd, and that's Brooke. And she is also another very highly strung pig who likes her personal space and will quite happily challenge anybody who, well, gets in her way. Valerie is the same and I don't know whether you've seen a documentary on Netflix it's quite a few years old it was some it was um, like a study in Germany I think and they looked at guinea pigs and I watched it a while ago um, like the gist of it was that females that were pregnant in very stressful situations were more likely to give birth to girls that were more dominant so if they had female pups they were likely to be like behave more like males like be quite um not aggressive but just more dominant and have that kind of well like you a highly strong tone and i wonder how true that is because say the the pigs in that in that situation all of them were very very neglected it, it was not nice at all they were just having pup after pup after pup and it takes its toll um and so Valerie has always been quite a nervy, screamy. Although you're being really good, I'd wish you wouldn't. <laughs> I wish you wouldn't make me look like I'm telling lies. Hmm. If people could have seen me catching you, they'd see the real you. Hmm. Can you see yourself? Is that what it is? Hmm. <laughs> so yeah, I wonder how true that is about piggies that say are in stressful situations end up having girls that are slightly more antisocial because Brooke definitely is. Hmm. <laughs> so yeah other than that you are just um uh, another one that you wouldn't really know is in the herd not many people know about her she doesn't interact with me uh you just live in your life aren't you darling hmm hey it's better with me than it was where you were okay just like that's debatable i didn't have to sit in front of a camera hmm? oh so there we go our saturday pig Valerie, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.